Hey guys, Shandali here from GHL Smart Scripts and Power Tools. Um, if we haven't met, I am Jason's wife and I work primarily in the strategy side of things, the sales side of things, uh, lead gen, all of that fun stuff. And I came up with uh, to celebrate the new loyalty and rewards program that Jason just launched, I came up with a list of over 100 ways that you can use the loyalty and rewards program inside of your agency um, in order to make it easier for you to sell high level to businesses that you work with. And I have now broken it up into different segments. So in this video, I'm going to cover the fitness industry. I've been driving traffic a lot for the fitness industry. That sounds funny. A lot. Um, for almost nine years now, I've been very successful at lead generation for fitness studios, group fitness specifically. And I've talked with hundreds of studio owners and helped them come up with really fun promotion ideas for their business. And so I thought I would do a really quick video going over a list of ways that you can implement the, re the rewards and loyalty program um, that we, the snapshot that we've created that plugs into the high level software specifically for that industry. And then keep your eyes peeled because I've got lots more for the med spa industry, realtors, home services, beauty, um, all of that fun stuff. But I thought I would just do one separate one for the fitness industry specifically. And here we go. I'm going to share my screen here. So techy, I know, right? There's that. There's that. Okay. All right. So fitness industry, the biggest thing about the fitness industry is keeping our members engaged, whether this is an online program, an in-person one-on-one -on -one program, a group fitness program, no matter what it is. Obviously, with fitness, we want to keep people motivated. We want to celebrate where they're at, and we want to keep them um, excited to come back, right? We want to help them set goals and help them reach those goals and really acknowledge that we see that they are are coming in and be towards our existing customers is where I think we fall short. We're always so focused on getting new customers, new clients, new, new, new. But if we actually celebrated our existing clientele and our existing members, um, they would refer us more, they would come in more often, and they would most definitely spend more money, right? So the first thing I want to say is a point system is basically what the loyalty and rewards program is. It's a really easy way to automate um, a way for your customers to collect points. So what are some different ways that a member could collect points in our loyalty and reward system? Um, giving giving the business a review or giving you a review if you're a gym owner or a yoga studio owner, whatever it may be in the fitness industry. So uh, we love getting reviews. We have a review and referral snapshot as well. And so we were able to tie that in with this new snapshot and give points based on reviews given. So it's just an extra thank you. Not everybody is going to give a review, but if there's an incentive there, then they will. Uh, referring someone. Um, this is a, obviously an oldie, but a goodie, but a, this is an automated way to track referrals. So in the back end in, of the new loyalty and rewards program, you can track when somebody has been referred and give points based on those referrals. Um, Sharing on social media, same thing. If somebody shares on social media, then we can give points for that. 
checking in. Um, there's a QR code that that your new that your members can scan, and we can track attendance. Um, if this is an online program, we can track if somebody's logged in. We can track if somebody's finished an, an assignment. If somebody's completed a video. So if you've got an online fitness program um, or weight loss program then we can use this new snapshot for that as well. Video testimonial or any type of a testimonial, really, again, we can give points for that. Um, sharing the fitness journey on social media or becoming your brand ambassador. This is something that I've worked with hundreds of fitness studios over the last 10 years, and I speak with fitness studio owners daily. And this is the one thing that I always say that each studio should be doing is that they should find brand ambassadors, people that aren't perfect. Um, don't think influencer, think a regular person who's coming into the studio or again, attending online and follow their journey. Ask them if you can check in with them once a week um, for a quick update, not just about fitness or weight loss, but how are they feeling? Are they more patient at home with their kids? Are they sleeping better? Are they feeling more focused at work? Like all of those little things are the things that um, if we can report back and share that journey, then more people are going to want to come in and try it out as well. So we can give points based on that or rewards based on that. Um, attending a certain amount of classes in a certain amount of time. So a lot of the studios that I drive traffic for, we're driving traffic to a trial, whether it's a 14 day trial, a three-day trial, a seven-day trial, whatever that may be. And so we're finding um, a really big success in rewarding people for showing up for three classes during their one-week trial, something more tangible, like actual, you know, these are the things that you need to do. That's what sets your new members up for success and makes them want to come back more. Um, challenges work really well in the fitness industry, right? So a 21 day challenge, can you come in 21 days in a row? And again, we can create a QR code, um, that your members can scan when they come in every day, and then they would automatically be given points for just doing that one thing, checking in, um, referring friends. I think I might've mentioned this earlier, but I'll dive a tiny bit deeper into this. I think it's really powerful if we can give a really good reward for referrals. So if somebody refers, we can track that in the back end. If they refer somebody who becomes a member, um, then you can reward them for that one thing, right? So maybe it's a certain amount of points for a referral, but then more points or a bigger reward if that person becomes a member. Um, birthday rewards. I really also like doing anniversary. So it's our one month anniversary, like happy anniversary. We're giving you 100 points. Uh, it's our one year anniversary. Uh, we're going to give you, you know, 1000 points or whatever that may be. Um, it's those little, it's those little things that really do make somebody happy to do business with you, right? Upgrading or signing up for another program that you offer, you can give them points for that. I mean, sky's the limit. I'd love to hear if you've got any ideas down below of different other different ideas that you may have of, of reasons to give points out to a member or, you know, just somebody who's going through a trial process. Um, I also came up with a list of things that uh, points could be redeemed for, like prize ideas, basically. Uh, meal plans. So if that's something that you provide, then cool. Maybe you can give them a meal plan on the house in exchange for the points that they've that they've uh, built up, right? Meal prep, if that's something, again, that you offer, then cool. If not, maybe you can align yourself with another business that does meal prep and send somebody a meal. Uh, I mean, even HelloFresh does that, right? You uh, And actually, they've got an amazing loyalty program if you've ever taken a look at how they run their business over there. But I mean, there's tons of different ways that you can tap into these things and they align really well with fitness. 
uh, one on one session. Um, if you have a studio or work with a studio that offers group classes, but also one on one, this is a really good way to move somebody up a value ladder, right? They're taking group classes and most likely on the lower package. Um, then they redeem points by checking in, giving referrals, giving reviews, doing all of those things. Uh, then you can give them a one-on-one -on -one session as a reward, but then it's also an introductory um, into their your next level as a business or their next level as a business. So it's a really good thing to offer. Um, a gift card to a local store a gift card to Amazon, a prepaid Visa or MasterCard, right? It a little bit goes a long way. Supplements, again, if that's something that the studio offers, then it's a really good way to introduce another thing that that member could purchase from you moving forward of just like, here's some protein or here's, you know, here's some um, supplements that you can take um, in return for all of your points. Uh, private group fitness experience. This one's kind of fun. Um, if you provide group fitness classes, then maybe once somebody gets a certain amount of points, they can redeem those for their own personal group fitness um, experience with just their friends. And again, it's a win-win because they're going to bring their friends into the studio who maybe have not been there before. And it's another referral, right? Um, a discount on fees. This is a big conversation that I have all the time with studio owners. If a membership is $100 a month and they re somebody refers a new member to your studio, you can give them money off their fees. So, you know, $10 off every time a member sign, a new member signs up that they've referred, if they refer 10 people to become members, that means they could have $100 off their membership each month. Why not do that? That's 10 more people paying you, right? Um, a discount on their fees. That's what I just said. Merchandise, if you sell shirts or swag of any sort, then they can choose merch if they've got a certain amount of points. Um, a fun members night out. Some studios that I work with, they plan like group outings. They do like um, brews and yoga or whatever that may be, some kind of a fun event that like only these VIP members that are at a certain level can attend. A spa day, um, teeth whitening, spray tans, hair removal, med spas, lashes, nails, new clothes new runners, um, a juice program, um, a trip using marketing boost. That's something that you should check out. If you are an agency, especially you can pay marketing boost and provide all accommodations paid in destinations all over the world that works so well in the fitness industry. Um, but remember like align with other local businesses in the area that serve your clientele already your members already after somebody's been working out for a while they're gonna want to go for a spray tan they're gonna want new clothes they're gonna need new runners whatever that may be think a layer deeper like get creative with this it's so fun um partner with other businesses like a spa or whatever and see what you can work out together um and then just one other quick little tip is charitable giving, like partner with a local charity if you can and, you know, maybe give them points based on what your members are doing in the studio. Maybe they get so many points every month and they can redeem for whatever that may be. Um, the, the last thing I want to touch on is, you know, when it comes to sales and when it comes to structuring points and rewards and things like that, it can feel sometimes like you're just giving it all away, right? Um, but fitness especially, we want to keep people engaged. We want to keep people motivated. Again, we want to share in their excitement when they have reached certain milestones. And that's what I absolutely love about this loyalty and rewards program that we now have to offer is that, you know, we focus so heavily on 
lead generation and getting new clients and getting new trials and getting new members that we sometimes forget how important it is to celebrate um it, to celebrate our existing people that have been supporting us right so really keep that in mind um and the other thing that i think that is fun to to chat a little bit about if you're talking to a studio owner or if you are a studio owner looking to implement this think about going to an arcade right we dump how much money into these machines and we get tickets back and like you look up behind the counter and it takes 15 bazillion tokens to get that stuffy up at the top shelf right and there's some people that will redeem their points for the lower ticket stuff and then there's some people that will absolutely love tracking their points building their points up and waiting until they can get something big. And they really enjoy, I think, especially in fitness, having that thing to look forward to. Like I am going, I'm going hard for a trip, you know, or I'm going hard for um, a pair of, of new runners or whatever that may be. So really have fun with it. And think about, you know, even having some of those visuals around the studio so that you can promote what you have going on. So you can share it on social media and like all of that fun stuff. So if you have any other ideas that you want to add to this, I would love to have a conversation. Just comment below. Um, and if you want to learn more about the Loyalty and Rewards program and actually see the tech side of things, how it's set up how you can get it set up. It's so easy to use. Um, and it's only $69 per location. So it's very affordable to implement. Um, just get in touch. Okay. Bye.